This 52-year-old rancher has a great deal of weakness. You see he has this uh, cuff that has virtually no capsule under the supraspinatus, very flimsy. We do a posterior interval slide on this right shoulder just to see if we can get any. But this does open up our superior glenoid so that we can prepare the superior glenoid a little more easily having done the slide. We place uh, an anterior uh, anchor on the glenoid. These are three millimeter suture tacks. And now you see our anchors front and back. On the greater tuberosity, he's got some adaptive changes, beginning to get some femoralization of the uh, proximal humerus, so we have to outline uh, the articular margin. And that can be a little difficult to tell sometimes, but uh, you then recontour it so we have uh, some semblance of a greater tuberosity again. We place two medial swivel lock anchors that are preloaded with fiber tape. Uh, we then measure with this uh, calibrated uh, probe the distance between all the anchors so that we can use that to size our graft and get it very accurate. These uh, humeral anchors on the medial aspect of the articular margin are swivel locks that have fiber tape preloaded. We measure from the tuberosity anchors to the glenoid anchors as well so that we can um, pass them through the graft outside of the body. Now we're going to make uh, a couple of punch holes in the graft for our uh, lateral anchors in the humerus and the sutures will come through that. Uh, for the uh, more medial anchors, we're going to pass the sutures individually. We'll deliver the graft through this lateral portal using uh, some, uh, some pulley system, and then a do doing a double pulley to uh, do a double mattress suture medially. You see how we get a very secure repair there medially, there as well. And here's our final construct after this has all been done.